Hey, 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 welcome to the car shark. My name is Jimmy Prater. I'm a car. I close. That's what I do. I close and close and close. I close them and gross them. I love the close car deals. I love it. Why? Because it's something about winning, right? You love to do it too. You love to close and gross them too, right? You like to win too. That's why we like to win. And But we really like, we like the money. And dealers, you're not allowing it to happen. You're not allowing the salespeople to make an outstanding living. They're just getting by. They're getting by with low flats. Flats suck. Period. End of story. Flats are horrible. We don't even want to make flats. We don't want to make flats. We want to make gross. We want to make gross. We want to close them and close them and close them and gross them and gross them and gross them. And gross them. See, dealers, salespeople, they sell the product, right? But they also close the product because there's two closes in a sale. There's two closes in a sale. Salespeople closed on the product. Then who's going to help them close on the numbers? See, you got the figures there, so you got to have someone there to close on the figures. That's a closer. You got to have a floor manager. You just can't have a manager get up from the desk. Not all managers can do that. They get up from the desk. Their mind is still in the numbers. It's a different transition of a sale. You've got, you got to follow me here on this logic. If you're sitting behind a desk and you're doing the figures all day and you got five or six deals working at one time and they say, oh, you got to put on a smile and walk out to a customer and say, wait a minute, because it takes time to close, right? It takes time to close on the figures. You have to massage that deal, but you don't care. You, all you care about is giving out flats because you know how you're, where your money's coming from. Your money's coming from the pack. You know, my last video, I talked about that dealer I met not too long ago, just real recently, disgusted over this guy. He was bragging to me on his used cars. He's averaging $2,300 per copy. $2,300 per copy. However, his packs are $1,200. So the payable commission is $1,100. Now, who, who in their right mind would want to work for a dealer like that? But you know what? It's rampant. It's all over the country. It's all over the country. These salespeople are licensed. Most states make their salespeople be licensed, whether it's from the DMV or Secretary of State. You got to be licensed. Now, you want to raise morale, get rid of your pay plan. Start dealing with the manufacturers, tell them the CSI, it's, it's a, enough's enough. I mean, have you really read those questions that they, that they sent out to customers to do surveys and you're paying, the cost, you're paying the salespeople off from their responses? It's so bad. It's so, J.D. Powers, get out of Dodge. Leave. J.D. Powers, you're the worst. You get paid to criticize people. Of course you're going to find something wrong. Get out of there. Manufacturers, stay out of their business. See, salespeople, they need you. You're licensed. They need you. They can't just have some middleman come in there and play Mr. Salesperson. They got, everyone's got to be licensed. So manufacturers, you'd have to change laws if you think that customers can start going direct. That's not ever going to happen. Never is that going to happen. You'd have to change legislation, and it's not going to happen. Dealers, you're taking advantage of times like in 2000 and 2007 when we went into the recession, what'd you do? You lowered commission, you put a higher pack on, and bigger recon. It's a joke. 2009 comes, the recession, we're out of it. You didn't change anything. Again, the only thing you changed was raise the, raise the pack a little bit more. They'll never see it. Just pack it, pack it, pack You want to do advertising, put an advertising pack. Everything's a pack for you. Lower the commission, pack them, get unrealistic bonus plans out there, and it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. It doesn't work at all. I mean, th look what's going on. You got salespeople. That in, back in the day, salespeople, we make all kinds of money. We, make, we, we had times we would make $180,000 to $200,000 in a year. And then you figure it out. My salespeople are making too much money. I got I to I gotta do something about this. I got I to gotta be the greed, Mr. Greed here, right? I, I, I'm going to pencil their pay plan. I'm going to raise packs. 
I'm not going to let them gut customers on the front end anymore because I'm going to put it on the back end, sell my back end product. That's all going to go to an overseas account. And they are. They're going to an overseas account. They're reassuring. Salespeople, dealers are reassuring their back end product, reassuring their warranties. It, they're not paying taxes on it. It's going to an offshore account. That's where they're making all their money, salespeople. You ought to do a walkout. Just leave. Stand up for yourself because the dealer is laughing at you. $1,100 payable, $25 flats, screwed up. That is screwed up. You know what, dealer? You can fix this, though. You can fix this because it's only going to get worse for you because the salespeople are starting to get educated. They're starting to get educated. They're going to rise up. I predict it's going to be 2019. This year, they're going to rise up and walk out. They're going to organize. They're going to organize. And you're going to say, wow, what did I do? I did something wrong. Yeah, you did something wrong. You're stealing from the salespeople. The trade-ins, your nice trade-ins, you wholesale them because you don't want to pay a commission on it. Or you don't want to put the recon in or the recon is too high because you haven't fixed that problem yet. Why don't you call a car, Sharker? I'll help you. I I'm an advocate for salespeople and I'll help you. We'll get the salespeople motivated. We'll give them a raise. We got to work on this CSI stuff with the manufacturers, dealers. You guys all got to get together, got to work on it with amongst yourselves and tell the manufacturers where they're going to go. And if you're a conglomerate, you don't care anyways, right? Okay. And if you're a general manager, you don't care, care anyways. You're clueless about everything. You think you know everything, but you don't get on the floor, general manager. You don't get on the floor in desk. You don't get on the floor in cell. And you damn sure don't get on the floor and close. Now, if you like anything in this video, go ahead and share it and like it. Don't forget to click the sharky icon. That will go ahead. That will get, let you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And man, I tell you what, I want you salespeople to make all the money in the world. Make it, make it, make it, make it. And do yourself a favor. My name is Jimmy Prater. Go close something. Yeah!